Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Colby and today I'm going to show you how you should really be tying your shoes. First, we need to know what a runner's knot is and why you would want to use it. So you would want to use it because it's going to help keep your foot and your shoe better. If you feel like your foot slips around or moves when you're running, a runner's knot can fix that. The second thing a runner's knot can help is keeping your toes not squished up at the front. It's going to help keep your heel back in the back of the shoe. And by keeping your heel in the back of the shoe, it's going to help improve drive in each step you take, which is going to help you run more efficiently with less energy. First, you want to get your shoe on. So just put your shoe on how you always put it on. Make sure the tongue is up because that's going to help keep your foot still and stabilized while running. The next thing you want to do is make sure your heel is in the back of your shoe because you don't want your toes squeezed up at the front. For those of y'all that didn't know, crazy socks make you faster. So if you want to drop your times like crazy, put on a pair of crazy socks. It works every single time. So on your shoe, you have a thing called an eyelet and that's where the laces go through. And usually up at the top, you have an extra one. The left side, your left side, you're gonna take this string and you're gonna put it through the top eyelet. So now you got a loop. You got a loop going through it like this. So you're gonna do the same on the other side because you'll have uh, an extra eyelet at the top also. So you're gonna put it through, and so now you got two loops like this. So now what you do, you take the opposite string and you put it through the opposite loop. So you take it like this, and you pull it. Now you take this string and put it through this loop. And so now you got, basically, it cinches it down. And this is gonna help keep your shoe a lot tighter. Now make sure your, the tongue is up because you don't want to cinch it down on your foot, you want to cinch it down on the tongue. So you do that and now you're going to have your heel faced a lot more back, or it's going to be pushed a lot more back and it's going to help keep you running more efficiently for longer because your foot is going to fit better in your shoe. And you just take your shoe the normal way, tie it. I know there's better ways of tying it. I always double knot, so do that. All right, I'm gonna show you it again. So you take your, the string and you put it through the top eyelet. Leave some space for the other string. And you do it on the same on the other side. And then you take the opposite and put it through the opposite loop. And then same on the other side. And then you pull it tight and you kind of cinch it down like this. Don't do it too tight because you want to keep blood flow going through your foot. And then just tie it like normal. Boom. That's how you need to be tying your shoes. You won't see a big difference in your form when you switch to a runner's knot, but you'll feel a big difference. That difference is definitely going to help you feel more confident in your running and feel better wearing the shoes that you have. If you enjoyed this video, I have many more like it on my channel. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Got my curtain set up back there now. Not here. I mean, I could probably use one here, but it was worse back there, so. I'm gonna consider this like the channel towel now. Everyone's gonna know that towel is part of this channel. We'll come up with a name for it soon. Maybe.